We're one week away from what is potentially the release date for the new DJI Mavic Mini 2. This is the Mavic Mini 1 and we may have a new version of this coming out in the very near future. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm an amateur photographer, more of a hobbyist, and I like sharing information of what I learn with everybody else. So, topic at hand today. It seems like we're getting closer and closer to what's going to become a new release of this little device, the Mavic Mini 2. One thing we've noticed so far is that the name has changed from a Mavic Mini to a Mavic... My baby's talking. Um, one thing we've learned is the name's going to change from Mavic Mini 1 to Mini 2, and we'll see how that goes. I generally don't do these types of videos. I don't like jumping on the bandwagon and talking about new, t new products when they come out or trying to get views and stuff. But in this case, what I really wanted to talk about was what I think is actually DJI's marketing team's masterpiece. Right? If we really have to think about it, if we have to think about it from a marketing perspective, the approach they've taken with this device has been completely different than any of the other ones that they've previously released, including some of the more recent ones like the Osmo Pocket 2 um, and the different gimbals they have for the more large factor cameras. In this case, what we're seeing is Mavic Mini 2s appearing at retailers, in this case Best Buy, and also on some online retailers um, as in of the last few days. With that said, I'm really starting to think, has this, what is this? You know, what are they trying to do? Looks like their marketing team is really trying to stir up the pot instead of taking some more approaches which are more recognizable or approaches they've deployed in the past, they're taking a completely different approach. In this case, I'm speculating they've gone ahead and sent out some devices to some YouTubers maybe that aren't as popular or as prominent and also in combination with Best Buy. Um, not that I think Best Buy is a part of this, but you know, with Best Buy, putting the device out for sale ahead of schedule caused a lot of hype in the scene. But what do we know about the new device? We know that the device has AccuSync 2.0. We also speculate that the device is going to have some raw capabilities from a photo perspective. And there's even some chatter around that they might support Follow Me. Well, for me, in terms of those new capabilities and as an owner of a Mini 1, I'm not sure if it's uh, enough for me to purchase the new one. The AccuSync definitely is one of those factors um, that might push me over the edge. The raw capabilities, I'm so-so. Um, I think it's definitely something nice to have and I think it should be enabled in the Mavic Mini 1. Um, there's no reason for it not to. They, it's just a software thing. And in terms of the Follow Me, as of right now, it doesn't look like there's any type of sensors enabled for the Mini 2 that would definitely put them over their, their weight limit. But supposedly it claims that it can do some Follow Me capabilities. We have seen some, some of this in some third-party applications like Lychee where they support the Follow Me capabilities. So Mavic Mini 2 seems to be coming out out in a week, has some new capabilities, may or may not be appealing for someone that already has one to go to the new one. If they're only interested in the, in the uh, AccuSync 2.0 capabilities, then that's definitely a reason to move forward and the ability to use it with the smart controller. But for me, given the smart controller is more expensive than the Mini, I don't fly at those distances, um, given that it's really small visual line of sight, kind of diminishes, so I don't need the 10K capability that it has. I'm sticking with the one I have. I'm hoping that some new firmware updates are going to allow us some additional capabilities. And if anything, if they did allow anything, maybe 4K, uh, even at 24 frames per second, they don't have to give us the whole complete suite of frame rates and, and raw capabilities would be enough, right? They don't have to completely forget about this device. They don't have to completely put all their eggs in the new device, but you know, they should give something to the people that have purchased this within the last year, because this device has only been out for about a year. So, um, you know, I, I almost see it as if it was a beta release, right? It wasn't the full capabilities. They wanted to put something out on the market. A lot of us got it. We beta tested it for them. We gave them feedback on what we wanted for the next version. They definitely put it in the, in the new version, but they should come back and give us something for the old one. So with that said, if you like, click below and subscribe. We'll follow this closely. I'll let you know if anything comes up as well. But for me right now, I'm sticking with my Mavic Mini one.